Next, let me discuss the other group of anti-metabolites that is the purine analogs. So, if you take this particular purine analogs, we have two important purine analogs that includes 6 mercaptopurin, right? 6 mercaptopurin, and the other important drug what we have is 6 thioguanin. Right, it is 6 thioguanin. So, these are the two important the purine analogs. Remember, 6 mercaptopurin and 6 thioguanin are the purine antimetabolites that are activated by the enzyme hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme. Right, so these are the two drugs which are activated by the enzyme HGPRTase. Now what is your HGPRTase? That is nothing but hypoxanthine guanine phosphoriposyl transferase. Next, let me tell you, now once these drugs are metabolized, the resulting nucleotides, whatever are being formed, the resulting nucleotides inhibit several enzymes in the purine biosynthesis and as well as the metabolism. Okay, so resulting nucleotides, right, resulting nucleotides, remember they inhibit several enzymes, right, they inhibit several enzymes in purine biosynthesis right in purine biosynthesis and as well as the metabolism of the purine right purine biosynthesis and as well as its metabolism now if you take this 6 mercaptopurin this 6 mercaptopurin is metabolized by an enzyme which is called as xanthine oxidase Right, metabolized by the enzyme which is called as xanthine oxidase. Now, remember we have certain drugs which will inhibit the xanthine oxidase. Now, what are those drugs which will inhibit this xanthine oxidase? Remember, the drugs include the allopurinol. So, when administered along with allopurinol, allopurinol is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, right? So, when you are giving allopurinol, allopurinol will inhibit the xanthine oxidase and thereby what will happen to the levels of this 6 mercaptopurin? The levels of the 6 mercaptopurin increases. So, that is the reason why when administered along with, so when 6 mercaptopurin is administered, right, when it is administered along with allopurinol, right, when administered along with allopurinol, Allopurinol, which is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, right? Allopurinol is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. So, what you have to do is the dose of, right? The dose of the 6 mercaptopurin should be reduced, right? Should be reduced to one fourth of its original dose, right? It is reduced one fourth of its original dose, all right? Next, now you take the purine anti-metabolites. The purine anti-metabolites, remember, where are they used? They are used mainly for the treatment of the leukemias, that is for both acute leukemia and as well as the chronic myeloid leukemia. So, if you take the uses, they are mainly used in the treatment of leukemias. And these leukemias, they include the acute leukemia, and as well as in the treatment of the chronic myeloid leukemia. Next. Now, the adverse effects. If you take the adverse effects of this particular 6 mercaptopurin and 6 thioguanin, they will cause the bone marrow suppression, but hepatotoxicity can also will occur with these drugs. So, bone marrow suppression and the other adverse effect is the hepatotoxicity. Right, the other adverse effect is the hepatotoxicity can also occur. Now, 
Apart from these two drugs, we have these two drugs that is 6-mercaptopurin and as well as 6-thioguanin. The other important purine analogues are like we have what is called as fludarabine phosphate and then we have what is called as cladribine. Okay, so you take other purine analogues. The other purine analogues, they include what is called as the fludarabine, right, fludarabine phosphate and the other important drug is the cladribine, right, the other important drug is the cladribine. So what is cladribine? Cladribine is an adenine analog. Remember, because cladribine is resistant to the degradation of adenosine deaminase, it is the drug of choice for the treatment of the hairy cell leukemia, right? So, if you take the cladribine, so cladribine, it is an adenine analog, right? It is an adenine analog. A point what you should remember is, this particular cladribine, right? This particular cladribine is resistant to the degradation of, to the degradation of adenosine deaminase. Right, resistant to the degradation of the adenosine deaminase. And the multiple choice question here is, this particular cladribine, it is the drug of choice for the treatment of the hairy cell leukemia. Right, this is the drug of choice for the treatment of the hairy cell leukemia. Now, you take this fludarabine phosphate. Fludarabine is the drug of choice for the treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, right? So this fludarabine phosphate, fludarabine is the drug of choice for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Now, now you take this fludarabine, we have a drug which is called as pentostatin. Remember, whenever you are using fludarabine with pentostatin, that will result in very severe pulmonary toxicity. So remember, the fludarabine Whenever it is used along with pentostatin, that will result in very severe pulmonary toxicity. Now, you take all your purine analogs. All purine analogs may cause immunosuppression on long term use. And because these purine analogs may cause immunosuppression, the individual is prone for the opportunistic infections like pneumocystis carney pneumonia. So, in order to prevent the development of pneumocystis carney pneumonia, you have to give cotrimoxazole prophylaxis. Alright? So, remember, all these purine analogs, they will cause immunosuppression. Because they cause immunosuppression, Long-term use of these purine analogs are associated with the development of the PCP pneumonia, pneumocystis carney pneumonia. So, in order to prevent the development of PCP pneumonia, along with these drugs, you have to give prophylaxis of cotrimoxazole. Right? Cotrimoxazole. Alright? So, these are few points regarding the purine analogs. Let me shortly revise about the purine analogs. The purine analogs, the important drugs what you have is 6-mercaptopurin and as well as 6-thioguanin. These are the purine antimetabolites that are activated by the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase that is HGPRTase. And the resulting nucleotides, right, the resulting nucleotides inhibit several enzymes in purine biosynthesis and metabolism. And this 6-mercaptopurin is metabolized by xanthine oxidase and when administered along with allopurinol, allopurinol is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. When administered along with allopurinol, the dose of 6-mercaptopurin should be reduced to one-fourth of its original dose. The purine antimetabolites, they are used mainly for the treatment of leukemias that is both the acute leukemia and chronic myeloid leukemia. And the adverse effect is the bone marrow suppression and as well as the hepatotoxicity. And the other important purine analogs are the 
fluterabine phosphate and as well as cladribine. Cladribine is an adenine analog. Remember, this cladribine is resistant to the degradation by adenosine deaminase. So, it is the drug of choice for the treatment of the hairy cell leukemia. Next, you take this fluterabine. Fluterabine is the drug of choice in case of the chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Now, whenever you are using this fluterabine with pentostatin, that may result in the development of severe pulmonary toxicity. And remember, all purine analogs may cause immunosuppression on long-term use and patients should be given quatrimoxazole for the prophylaxis of pneumocystis carni pneumonia.